Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today, we're, today we're going to discuss further into hyperbolic trigonometric identities, and I'll continue on hyperbolic sine and look at the identity for sinh x minus y. So this is going to be a really quick video, just to, uh, sh yeah, just to show how we're going to use the sinh x plus y identity, and then, then to prove this one. So basically, first thing to do is well recall from my earlier video that I showed that sinh x plus y equals to sinh x times by cos uh, or cosh y and then plus cosh x and then sinh y. Yeah, so thus using this identity, so make sure to watch out and put the link in the description below. Using that identity, what we'll have is sinh now x minus y. Only thing we're going to do is replace y with minus y. So this equals to sinh x times by cosh um, yeah, minus y or negative y plus cosh x sinh negative y like that. And now what we have is this negative y and there's a negative y in there. So we're going to use the uh, trig or hyperbolic trig identities for cosh and sinh or we'll just derive those all in one go like this. And I'll write actually I'll write a note so if we note from the definition of cosh, so cosh of negative y, this just equals to by definition e to the power of, well this negative y in there, plus e to the negative and the negative y like that over two. This equals to, this becomes positive and we'll move that forward. This equals to e to the y and then this one here plus e to the negative y over two. And then this one is just the definition of cosh y. So that equals to cosh y like that. And then for sinh, it's going to be similar. So sinh uh, negative y equals to the e to the negative y by definition. Then minus, instead of plus, we minus e to the negative, negative y. Then move the positive y now in the front. So this is divided by 2. Equals to e to the y. This is going to be negative e to the y. And then plus e to the negative y like that. So that's a negative sign there. Take out the negative, we get. Uh, negative e to the y minus e to the negative y, like that over two. This just equals to recall definition. Uh, this is the same thing as yeah, same thing as a cosh. So notice here for sinh, but we have a minus y like that. So thus what we have is this is the same thing as this one, but we have a negative there, and this is for y instead of negative y. So we have this is going to be equal to negative sinh of uh, y. So that's what neg e sinh negative y equals to negative sinh y, circle this, I'll circle it better, and then for cosh negative y, that just equals to cosh y. So, we're, so we can just replace those, and what we end up getting is sinh x minus y equals to sinh x, and then cosh y, negative y is just cosh y, so we have cosh y like that, and I'll just put an arrow like this, then this arrow goes over there. And here I just fix the arrow pointing this way instead. So we have it like that. And now here we have cosh x and then sinh, uh, there's going to be negative sinh y, so we'll put this into the negative in front. So instead of adding, we subtract. Now we subtract cosh x sinh y. And there is our identity. So a very quick, yeah, just a quick derivation on this using my earlier derivation on sinh x plus y. So make sure to watch that video. So yeah, that's all for today. If you learn from this quick video, and I'll be using these identities in later videos, so might as well do them separately now. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. And also make sure to check out my math forums. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.